This is gonna be it's gonna fun. take a bit to land. Jesus Christ. Probably why this team got into franchising. For close right and wine. So if this tags one, you know that they're playing some close cheese bullshit. You either know that they're wine, close right, or like close door. It throws that knife, and if it tags, they're gonna. He's gonna throw this probably. Yeah. One. Dude, does that does that make sense with chat? So if the knife tagged, wine becomes a threat, and he's gonna throw the wine nade. Now he's gonna throw the really tricky one, which is actually probably more appropriate in this scenario. I think I'm in. Oh, here we go, here we go. Please tag, please tag. I'm gonna flash for you. Flashing kills me. There was no jump there. That's the lineup. I'll put it in the playbook. If you're interested in learning it, you're going to have to put a lot of time into that one, which Jonah P clearly has. So this arrow starts there and then you run until this dot goes here. And that shit is so precise. Pro analysis now happens every Monday through Thursday live on stream. I choose the best one each week to upload to YouTube. The rest of the VODs are all available to tier three subscribers on Discord. Thank you so much for the support. Enjoy the analysis. I don't think we've reviewed Jonah P before. Let's see how he plays KO. Judge, dash, I'm in. Went on Molly door. Flat, throw flashes over. Bro, I'm telling you, if this is like me and this is like Dopey, we never lose. This is what we're lacking. Like on our ascent hits, we didn't have this shit. We didn't have a door Molly. Damn, bro, there's the rollout. After the Molly. Last player standing. <laughs> that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> all right, all right. Looks like he was starting against the barrier here. Did he do it? He did a jump flash like that. Ooh. Flashbang. Ooh. He's flashing first because his jet is dashing. And he's nading like this. Damn, that's a tough nade to, to wing, huh? Here? Because he's throwing it so fast. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, and then he's throwing the knife here. Specifically to, like, get info if anybody's playing in the tree area. And he's going, and this will depend on the pacing. He's going one, two, three. So his flash is right here. The jump throw. This one's pretty easy. I'm just, I don't know, even a bit to the left of that thing. I'm jump throwing, and that is working. Flashbang. Easy peasy. His nade? I mean, he's aiming Flash. there, I believe. Yep. So, there's like this cloud, and there's a lighter part of it. It's kind of hard to see. Probably hard to see through twitch compression as well, but it's there. But I'll try to highlight it for you. But you see how this light part of the cloud looks like this? He's aiming at the tip of that. Bro, what? He's got so much tech. Jesus. I found it. I'm pretty sure. Yup. What the fuck? That's a crazy lineup. That's actually crazy. The health bar lines? Nah, nah, nah. Sit back. Sit back. Let the professional do his job. Okay, I I'm downloading his tech for you. So do you see this grenade icon? Do you see how it has like a Nike logo right here? He's touching the tip of that Nike logo to the second line from the side here, right there. Oop. So now you should see it's actually really easy to line this up quickly. Once you get in the corner, He's taking the tip of the Nike logo, putting it right there. Bam. Knife deployed. Knife deployed. Boom. And notice it won't clear if they're like up here. 
So you got to keep that in mind. So it's knife lands. And this is the type of comm that I wish more initiators would make. Could be pizza. Like you got when his knife lands and it scans market or whatever. Like if I'm the duelist player, I see that and then get no comm. I'm always going to look this way. Like always. But if my initiator who threw it says could be pizza. Now I'm going to be more careful. You know, I might boom bot pizza before I clear market. And it is so important to make calls like that when you're playing initiator. It's so important. If you like watch my own sunset game today, we're playing a retake and we get a fade eye that lands like here. And I just assume that it's going to clear this because it probably should, but it didn't. And so when you have Yuta like this, you need to be coming like could be talked close a link, you know? And so here you see our dude is making exactly that call when it tags one could be pizza. Oh my God. Let's just line up at their lineup with this guy. Oh my god. Crushing me. Oh my god. But we're, we're not even going to get to watch the game. Shutting them down. I can't believe that goes through. Flash. Wow. Flash. Shit. Bro, that has to be like. Flashbang. The last possible frame. Yeah. He throws in. The curve begins. Okay, it's landing on this roof and suppressing anybody close. And he's popping two flashes. His first comes perfectly through lane here. And his second bounces off and comes over this way. And that second flash is thrown from over here. The knife is there. The flash is there. And the second flash is here. This one is a run. This one is above that line. This one is aim in this box. Okay. Bro, he's throwing it differently. It doesn't matter. The one that we found works too. Ah, uh, this doesn't clear pizza. He's throwing it differently than the other one. Like this one is intentionally different, which tells me it's not that precise. I'm pretty sure he's just winging it to the right of the lantern. Like, I don't think he's got two. Switch is clear. Comms like that, really important. So you see he's throwing a knife for like garden. Shutting them down. You see? And did you hear the comm? Switch is clear. He knows that switch is clear. And his knife specifically, he's hucking it tight. So that it lands deep like this. You can see the circle comes all the way out here. Which means they could be a main. But they can't get to switch because they're scaling into tree quickly. So if they peek out a main, they don't have time to hug this way and get the switch. It means switch is clear. So he's throwing a knife tight back here. No lineup necessary. But the thing is barely touching the curve towards a main. The clear switch gonna take a bit Jesus to land. Christ. Probably why this team got into franchising. Suppressing. We're close right and wine. So if this tags one, you know that they're playing some close cheese bullshit. You either know that they're wine, close right, or like close door. Okay, so he's taking, I'm pretty sure, I, I actually screenshotted this poorly. I'm pretty sure it's that dot on that corner. Yeah, it is. Let me get a better screenshot. There we go. You see this dot below the knife? Don't worry that I was off like a bit in the original screen. It should be in the same exact spot. Yep. He throws that knife, and if it tags, they're gonna. He's gonna throw this probably. Yeah. One's. Dude, does that does that make sense with chat? So if the knife tagged, wine becomes a threat, and he's gonna throw the wine nade. Now he's gonna throw the really tricky one, which is actually probably more appropriate in this scenario. I hope he throws it this game, because maybe his is easy. I forget mine. Is it here or that? I forget. Am I throwing it right like this? I don't even remember. I'm throwing it wrong. Whatever. 
He'll probably throw with this game. How's he have lineups for everything? I thought they were situational. They are. That's why he has lineups for every situation. This is like, we're talking pro level shit here. Like he's tier one. His team qualified. Like you got to understand the like cavern, a tier two player showed us his Sova prep on ascent. And I edited that video down and still included like 50 lineups. Yeah. <laughs> Time for another lineup. A knife market. Not a lot of comms lately, eh? Actually true, bro. He is not getting comms. Like, I'm I'm not giving any uh, high energy awards to Jonah P this game. But also, he's not wrong. Don't worry, Jonah P. Dopey and I are coming. Shutting them down. Yeah, of course. It lands in the same fucking spot, so you can't tell where he came from. Yeah, so he's lining up at the tip of this antenna right there. Flashing high, man. Be right side cat. He's yeah, actually just a machine, dude. Like, he's actually just a machine. What that flash do? Not much. He's just flashing high so his teammates can peek out. Uh, mid. He's just flashing high. Um, so anybody cats has to play anti or tuck. Anybody mid? Okay. So it's not like a lineup, Zendikar. But imagine you're opping mid, okay? When that flash comes out, you have to do this and then re peek out. And the op doesn't like peeking. So he throws the flash and comes out and holds. And now if the op re peeks, they're in trouble. Well, at least there are a slight disadvantage. Oh, if you watch again, me. flash pops and he's holding. So they have to leave. So they have to like tuck for a split second. And so they can't remain posted. He, it's like a force field. It's an EMP. Does that make sense? He's throwing an EMP against their force field that lasts a fraction of a second, but it lets them get past the force field and hold it after that. And he's specifically popping it high, like in the middle here. Because you'll notice that when it pops here, not only does it EMP the cat up, it also EMPs any market up or like deep mid. Like any operator who's posted up here also has to unpeak for a split second. And you can see, um, it's like, uh, like we would be peeking out at that point. Now he already has a smoke bomb mid, so it's fine. But th that's the idea. The enemy has op economy, and we don't want to give the op like a free shot. Oh, here we go, here we go. Please tag, please tag. I'm gonna flash for you. Flashing kills me. There was no jump there. There was no jump. I think this... I'm gonna flash I recall this one being like so finicky. Let's see if this is different. He's lining up this arrow right here. You see how these are the same exact angle now? So I'll screenshot that. Okay, so he's putting that arrow there. And then when this dot touches right there, he throws. But notice you got to be careful because you're going to bump. You have to throw before you bump. Jesus, yeah. It's so tight. It's so tight. Boom, boom. That's the lineup. I'll put it in the playbook. If you're interested in learning it, you're going to have to put a lot of time into that one which Jonah P clearly has. So this arrow starts there and then you run until this dot goes here. And that shit is so precise. You smoke a uh, mid on a knife cat. Of course you're going to knife cat. Okay, normal knife, normal knife, normal knife. Okay, that's it, man. Okay. So how do we know Jetsay main? Because he's doing some uh, rule of the mains bullshit right now. Once again. Jet's in mid. Why does it have to be jet? Because it just does. They're aggressing one of the mains. I so wouldn't get wide like that. It, it has to be jet. But like op or some shit. Probably playing where take B. Nothing regret. Yeah, B is really quiet. 
They're good. Yeah, yeah Silver's, Silver's, towards yeah. Silver's A. They're playing really safe cover. He split maybe? Yeah, I'll smoke him in now, yeah. Flashback! Ball's ready! He's different. Yeah, the read? It's not a read. It's not a read. It's not a read. He heard footsteps. He heard footsteps. It's not a read. Now, the, the execution of the kill is really clean, but there's no read involved here. Uh, I guess reading that it's Jet specifically is a read, but like, it makes a lot of sense. Flash. He's just killing her because she's wide with an op holding this down. It, that all makes sense. Yeah, th there were footsteps of a guy getting wide. Aim in. And the only guy who would get wide is Jet. This is why he calmed that it was Jet. I'll slow it down too. Three market. Reloading. Let me check that knife because he confidently said three market. So does it not clear CT? I mean, I'm sure it doesn't at this point. This is the fucking KO demon, but let me confirm. It does. Suppressing. I guess they wouldn't just be chilling over here, huh? Yeah, three market. <sighs> the fuck? Bro just threw a nade line up. Oh no, we didn't. He's winging it. He's winging it. He's just pinging distance and then feeling it. One enemy remaining. I'm actually curious if I can wing it better now. Because he, he missed. He bounced it off the thing. I pride myself on my winging. <laughs> Alright, back to the bottom. Oh, we know that flash. We're going to be on this vibe forever, man. Flashbang. Hey, man. Omen's a... Is Vlad insane just every game for this demon? You can tell it's every game. Look how fucking autopilot he is right now. So, do you remember when the submitter said he's trying in this game? He's not. He's not. I can tell. You know why? Because he's just comment like this. He's vibing. He's literally just going through the motions. This is what his autopilot looks like. His autopilot involves calling 321 double peaks. It involves being holding a nade lineup for wine. This is just so built into his play. He's not tryharding right now. I can tell. I can flash market jet. Like that's just how he plays the game. I can flash market jet. Cover going out. He's just a good initiator like that. Was there too. Let's go. Damn. So this is actually sick. He's played so much Valorant, you can tell. So people love rotating off of Cat around this way. So he's positioning this way. The flash. I don't know how he's going to throw the flash for market. He didn't throw it. He's positioned over here to also cover their backs. Like he's doing two things at once. He can flash them into market and cover their backs. Like it's so good. Let's roll out. Switch. Did you say switch? Switch. Okay, okay, okay. This is metagame. This is metagame, chat. This is so metagame. You can copy this. You can copy this. So his setup specifically, like this knife doesn't tell you he's switch. But, but. So the nade is landing here. Which means they can't come out. Okay. And if they are switch, they're stuck. But if they are switch, it's a big problem. So he comms one switch to make his teammates look switch real quick as they come out. And if they're there, they're dead. If they're not there, you know, whatever, ghost calmed. But like they can't come out now, so they're chilling. He's, he might not be switch, but it's a big threat. Like it's round losing if this guy uh, doesn't die. So he just calls switch to get his uh, teammates to clear it. Notice the guy is not switch. Instead of saying like, yo, look switch off my knife. He's just like one switch. <laughs> what is this? What is he's lining yo, you up? Guys get ready for this flash tech. Yeah, sure. Ready for oh, this if he flash one tech? Be good, actually. I want to see it. I want to see it, Jonah B. He has something for every scenario. Every goddamn scenario. 
So he's essentially popping a flash. Flashbang. That pops like above him. Like, does it pop up here to hit the bomb? Flashbang. <laughs> this is what it flashes. Just come in here. Flash. It pops here and it blinds anybody who tapped the bomb. Now it won't blind. Um, yeah, it's not going to blind anybody here. Really? They're not going to be blinded. But like anybody on site who's holding is in trouble. So this seems situational, very situational, which is probably why he said it was situational. I think he's just throwing it for content and I'm here for it because I'm going to take it from him. This is not a good time to throw this. I think we can all see that pretty clearly. Standing there, aiming there. This is not a good flash this round. This is very situational. It's very good in the 1v1. Like if you're in a 1v1 here and they tap, this seems really good because if they like tap, they're probably going to come over this way and they're blind. It's very good for that. See, this is why you guys have to... You know what? Some VODs are banned for the next month. Sorry. This is why we need to watch other pros. Sorry, not sorry. Some VODs for one month. Not because Sam is bad, but because we've already watched so much of him that we've downloaded his entire fucking playbook. So notice that close guy was not blind. Okay? Oh, God. But like that op that was heaven would have been blind. And so it'll probably say if I had to guess one enemy blind. The jet will be blind nobody else because of the one way. One. Yeah, perfect. And the flash is exactly what we expected. He blinded the op. All right, all right. That's attack. That's attack. You guys got that? that that's that's attack. <laughs> Let's go defense. <laughs> well, here we go again. Her alt tabs. I'll put all of this shit in the playbook. No exception. Okay, he's lining up right here. I found it. Bingo, I'm dead on. Yeah. What's he going to hit? Hey, man. Fuck off, bro. It's landing here. They can't, They don't see the knife. Because it lands behind this bro. Of course, it's unbreakable. Like, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Why would you throw a breakable knife? Let, let me confirm that it's... Yeah. They don't see it. They literally don't see it. I believe it is breakable. It's not. This wall. This wall is heavy, Pen? It's no Pen? It's completely unbreakable. You can't break the knife. <laughs> Anyways, it is right here. And now it's yours. This is kind of proving the point of why you should just study pros though instead of reinventing the wheel. Like, why the hell would you try to invent your own KO playbook when this guy has like a team of the fucking best analysts in the world prepping shit like this for him? Yeah, I'm gonna flash, tuck, tuck, flashing. Through that so flash. fast. Up. Is that a. I think he walks backwards for a frame. I got flash it. Bang. I see it. I see it. A nice simple flash. He's standing still. Okay, so do you see the tip of this building? Flushing. You should. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the bot at the right time. Yeah, I'm gonna flash tuck tuck. Flush. You need the tip of this building to be lined up with that thingy. Here, and then he's just throwing in the middle, like this. And it's coming over and flashing like this. You notice how vocal he is to his jet to tuck. This is like the difference between a good initiator and a bad initiator, and this is what I've been complaining about to Dopai. And rightfully so, in my opinion, because we've been playing in Radiant. Like It really it makes me angry when initiators in Radiant are throwing utility without saying anything to me. Bro. Yeah, I'm going to flash, tuck, tuck, flashing, flashing. So he knows oh. he's going to have to minimap refrag? Like, look. Instead of minimap refragging, which is a bit inaccurate, he ping minimap refrags. To increase his accuracy. Hey. This guy's so fucking good. I'm so hyped to watch G2 play right now. I haven't studied Jonah P. And now I'm convinced he's actually one of the best fucking initiator players on the server. Like, what?
he's autopilot right now. I can't stress that enough. There's no way this guy's try harding right now. Like, there's no way. No lineup necessary for that. Could be close right now. Could be out. Yeah, of course. Shutting them down. Of course he can throw it through there. Like, makes sense to me. It's so obvious, but I've never seen anybody do it, you know? This is effectively a goddamn attacker sided knife. It has no business going in the defensive playbook, but it'd be a crime not to put it somewhere. Uh, we're contesting, man. Yeah. Kill all your yeah. opponents. No worry, <laughs> Bro, it is like clockwork. His teammates call one of the 72 valid defensive plays on Ascent, and Jonah P's like, yeah, I'm down. And like, they're like, oh, contest a main? Yeah. And he just walks this way. <laughs> because you already know he's about to show something. Flashbang. Yeah. Oh, bet. It also flashes up over here, so it won't blind your own dudes. Bet. Yeah. Oh, I was worried about that. Flash. Yeah, because it flies great. That reminder, if you are enjoying the pro analysis and think that this is kind of cool, I put one up per week on the YouTube, but there's a lot more available to tier three subscribers on the Discord. A lot more. So I'm going to casually shout out the pro analysis VODs channel where you can probably find a VOD for your favorite agent on your weakest map. And I get a playbook like this. Set you all up for success. His jet got wide and she got blind. That's important to note. I don't think he missed through it. So I think you need to... Okay, they, they did come to push a main. So it's not normal for it to get wide like this. But that is important to note. This flash will blind this ledge. You need to communicate that. Just one. They're not doing anything. They suck off your man. Jumped off cat one. Yeah, he's just running this way for a gun. Oh <laughs> Alright, you know what? It'd be kind of a crime for me to record this knife incorrectly in the playbook. He's technically lining it up there. He moved it at the last second on pistol round. Does it matter? Yeah, it lands even deeper. <laughs> it probably doesn't matter, but you know, that guy jet updrafting might also be f***ed now. <laughs> Two. Two Flashing hell. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this rollout's really important. So the, the nade is like pretty easy. Like, he's just nading this area so they can't peek. Now he's flashing low. And he's specifically jumping out towards Jen. NA is saved. Bro, NA won world championships. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> NA literally won. <laughs> All right. On his retakes, he's flashing down here. And he's got this hecking cheeky jump, Jen, which is very good. Oh man, I can flash you through the smoke. Flashing. <laughs> Up. What? Oh man, I can flash you through the smoke. Oh man, I can flash you through the smoke? Bro, this is the type of shit a sky calls for you, you know? Flashbang. Yeah, yeah, great. <laughs> Now you can see why I kind of get mad at my initiators in solo queue. Because <laughs> honestly, this is sort of what I was expecting Radiant initiators to be like nowadays. Not like this crazy, but like calling their util for the team base. Like this, this is taking it a step above that. But this is why I get frustrated with them. This shit is so good. Stand. Okay, he's aiming at the pipe. There's a little mark on it. Flashing. Up. Enemy oh, he just yeah. got four assists. Yeah. He just got four assists. Oh. I can clip me throwing the flash for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got 17 assists, dude. 
17. I was literally just talking to Dopi in our most recent game how I felt like initiator is the highest impact role in the game. Because like if you calm shit like this, you just win. Like we were playing bind and I don't know if you remember if you were watching or not, but our sky, her job was to flash this side of hookah in our play. And she did and it tagged nothing. And then we all died to the guy who was right here. And we're like, what's up with that guy? And she's like, oh, I mean, he was talked. Like, yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure Jonah P's flashing here. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, when I fame in. Nothing. I mean, I can flash mid after the smoke pits. Yeah, of course you can. He's good. Is this a lineup? Flashing. Bro, that's a perfect flash. Smoke pits. <laughs> what? Flashbang. Oh, Bob muted. Oh well. Oh great, yeah. One more lineup for the road. Yeah, he gets two assists, <laughs> and they win. Flashbang. Why are they all so perfect? Flash. So he's aiming up from the satellite until he hits like this thing. Like this is this is fine. It's very lenient. He's standing on this side to throw it. Ah oh, shit, no. That's not how you do them. I'm getting dizzy. Do it like that. And a green line to how it's done. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's over. It's over.